Have you ever heard of a brand called Reven? Well, I hadn't either until they sent me an email. Basically, they're a breakaway group from Scythe, the people who make the awesome fans, and they sent me this Brontes CPU cooler. Now, it's basically a sort of one-size-fits-all, low-profile CPU cooler for basically low TDP chips. Um, if you have a, you know, ITX enclosure, this might be perfect for you, which is awesome. And it's obviously fairly simplistic. Inside the box, you get the cooler itself, the mounting hardware you need, and a clear and easy-to-use instruction guide. And that's pretty much it. The cooler itself has a nice sort of blanking plate where the uh, heat pipes end with a sort of brushed aluminium look and a Reven logo. And the fan itself is actually ridiculously slim, comes with wire clips where it's pre-attached and an interesting yellow and black design similar to the Acasa one actually that I reviewed fairly recently. There's obviously the fairly dangerous don't forget to peel this off sticker which please don't forget to peel it off and the installation is actually pretty simple. You attach the two plates with two screws to the mounting well to the bottom of it and then push uh, the four screws with the rubber washers through the motherboard and screw it in. If you, It's basically the same process for using Intel you just attach the uh, different brackets uh, but you still use the same screws and you plug the four pin PWM fan header in and that's pretty much it. Once it's inside a system you'll be remarkably surprised at how quiet it is. The fan's actually quite slim, it's a lot slimmer than a normal fan and I thought that might impede performance in some way, um, but it's ridiculous, qu ridiculously quiet and in temperatures, well you might see 82, uh, 81 to 82 degrees there on the A10 7860K. That's actually not bad for what is effectively a fairly thermally inefficient chip and a very low profile CPU cooler. So I've got to say I am really impressed with the CPU cooler. Obviously it's got not going to be the biggest, baddest, uh, coolest one around, uh, foremost because of its size and then secondly because of its price you can expect it to be um, not the, the you know uh, be all and end all of CPU cooling. But I have to say I am really impressed with it. It's ridiculously quiet as well which is awesome and when I say that I genuinely mean you have to open the case and put your head right next to the fan to be able to hear any real noise and the noise that you do hear is purely just airflow moving through it so um, I am very impressed with that and it's 4 pin PWM as well so when it's uh, not being fully utilised it's even quieter uh, as well which is awesome. Now, in terms of temperatures, I was running an A10 7860K uh, and I was running a Prime 95 full load and for me it maxed out at 82 degrees and it basically just stayed exactly there. Now for an AMD uh, you know, APU chip that's actually pretty decent, of course, as I said, this isn't designed to be the biggest, baddest, best CPU cooler around, but if you're planning on mounting it in an ITX system, you don't have that much space but you still want something better than a stock solution, this is actually really important and ridiculously quiet too. The mounting system is also pretty good. It's basically uh, exactly how I would expect to do it uh, on a IT uh, on an ITX you know, chassis. Um, you do have to attach it uh, through the back of the motherboard. You basically have to screw in from the back. So that's kind of to be expected personally. Uh, and for these ITX kind of cases, generally speaking, you're mounting the motherboard to the side of the case somewhere. Um, so you generally don't have you know access from the back. So um, again, I think this is a very sensible way to go about it. There's also lots of RAM clearance so if you have an ITX motherboard where the RAM DIMM slots are very close to the CPU cooler, you still shouldn't have too much of an issue. I don't think you'll fit the RAM underneath it if you were to mount it the other way around, but uh, in the configuration that I have it, uh, it, it works just fine. So um, overall, I'm really impressed with the cooler. It's a great price, which is why it's getting a 5 for 5 money. Performance, I'm going to go with a 4 because obviously it's not uh, the most efficient cooler on the market to date, um, but at the same time, it is still pretty decent. Functionality, I'm going to have to go with a 5. Style, I quite like it. I do quite like the yellow black look um, like I did with the Acasa so I'm gonna go with I think a 4.5 here um, and overall Titan Ruby score I think I'm gonna have to go for a 5 and a gold award it really is a very impressive bit of kit and if you're looking for an ITX motherboard cooler I highly recommend this one so uh, yeah I guess that's kind of it really um, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful if you did please do use the Amazon affiliate link in the description down below if you're gonna buy this or really anything else um, as long as you use the links it still helps me out um, and keeps the PC on and the camera rolling and all that sort of stuff. Feel free to subscribe and like as well and follow us on Facebook and Twitter um, for more updates and uh, just to let you know when reviews are out and that sort of stuff. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful, and we'll see you all in the next one.